Hello friends, this is just a really quick video just to kind of talk about the scenarios a little bit and some of the changes we're seeing. So uh, the Sims team have added uh, a, a large number of scenarios. Some of them are kind of like reoccurring or variations on old scenarios that they kind of brought out and took away. So for example, Too Many Toddlers is back again. Um, ever so slightly adapted. It's now got this difficulty rating. Um, so yeah, the, the, we, I like the addition of difficulty ratings. It kind of tells you... Um, kind of what to expect a little bit more especially in terms of like are you looking for something that's quick are you looking for something that's a bit longer um and that kind of thing so there's some really interesting ones like i've not tried them all yet but i like the look of this uh, super rich super villain uh, super rich super villain one um waking as a secret agent can make a sim cynical about the world but it also means a lot of time wearing glamorous clothing playing high stakes poker I wish I wish we had a gambling pack. I wish we had like a casino pack, like a Vegas world with a casino pack and actual gambling. That would be really cool. Like slot machines, would love to see it. And being very picky about how your drinks are prepared. The luxurious lifestyle is appealing, but why settle for just being rich when you can also be villainous? Mwahaha. Wait, hang on. <laughs> Twiddle moustache, amusingly. Right, um, so uh, it's pretty cool that we've got that. That sounds like a lot of fun, but it also sounds like a lot of work. So haven't had time to do it yet, uh, but I like the sound of it. Um, we've also got things like Extraterrestrial Researcher, which is a new one. A sim obsessed with outer space knows that we cannot be alone in the universe and this sim is determined to discover all there is to know about extraterrestrial creatures. Unfortunately, getting into space is not easy. You need a lot of spare time and possibly money to go looking for these mysterious critters. The first step is to build a DIY rocket that can take the sim into space and back home again safely, more or less. How hard can it be? So uh, bring back five unique living alien critters from voyages into space. So that's quite a fun one. I don't normally play with the rocket ship and that kind of thing I kind of keep, I'm kind of keeping that as end goal like end game stuff because my sim who's going to use that kind of stuff is currently in university he's kind of going to have like a whole Tony Stark thing going so yeah I, I don't play with that because I'm like saving it for myself so again it's quite interesting to to play out of your comfort zone another one that I wouldn't necessarily play with um if I can just find it is this troublemaker. I'm too nice. Uh, a lot of my sims are very, very nice. Uh, so the idea of intentionally playing with somebody who's a troublemaker, like that kind of villainous one, is, is quite different for me to my normal, natural kind of uh, style of playing. So um, moving to a new town and a new school could be a fresh start for a teen who's always been interested in causing mayhem, always been more interested in causing mayhem than doing homework until now. Will this teen turn things around? turn the beat around and improve their grades at their new school or turn the school upside down with more mischief and this one has like multiple outcomes so they can actually improve uh, their uh, behavior and be a B student and have three friends they can be an A student or do you know what they can do the villainous route uh, teen is partners in crime with another sim and has done at least one school prank successfully it might be quite fun to play this scenario with the uh, partner in crime outcome and then jump straight into uh, the the, uh, the super rich super villain. It might be quite fun to play those two back to back. So I may do that if I can ever complete uh, New Year New Hustle. That might be the next thing that, thing that we do. Um, yeah, so there's a few nice interesting ones. I like the look of this rom-com one as well. Uh, two engaged sims have a great friendship, but the romance has died. It's complicated. It doesn't even begin to describe the relationship. Can an aspiring comedian find humour in their personal life, making it big in showbiz, and keep their personal life from falling apart? And this one, again, has lots of different outcomes. I quite like the idea of having different outcomes, as long as they can kind of weighted in a way where, like, you don't accidentally complete them when you're trying to go for another one, because that's a pain. Um, but yeah, I like it's, it's cool there's some interesting ones here as some of the ones that I really liked as well about like I still like engaged in conflict power couple still there finding love after breakup which I thought was an interesting one again because was it finding love after breakup um yeah no that's not, I don't know yeah because that's the one that you started where like the sims have recently broke up with each other and the kind of the relationships kind of on the rocks so that was quite an interesting one to do as well again just playing with, from a different dynamic than you'd normally start the game with like starting with a scenario rather than starting with like oh it's the base game again you know like oh we're starting again we're starting again you start with like with some stuff going on which I think is quite cool actually so um I was 
really drawn to do this unlucky chef one and it's got a hard difficult re rating for a reason so uh, the reason why I was kind of like really drawn to this one and why people were suggesting it to me as well on Twitter was because I used to have uh, a running joke on Twitter which was uh, hashtag Cinderella's kitchen where I would share my kitchen exploits <laughs> with the world and there was things like my cat eating my pasta or uh, putting cat food in the washing machine because washing machines are in the kitchen in the UK normally um, I, or like just the disasters that I had in the kitchen you know and um, it became like quite a running joke on Twitter where people were quite amused by my bad chefs and that shenanigans so I do feel like this one is is targeted at me it is my kind of uh, you know it's art imitates life <laughs> so yeah this one was the one that I kind of gave a try I did play it with Cinderella, but I, I, my plan for it was to record the footage and then edit it and life has been really busy and I didn't get around to it and it became such a huge mission that I just couldn't do it. But it did create a sim that you might like to play with if you're doing this scenario. So I'll kind of show you her and kind of, uh, yeah, we'll jump into the game. But let's read this description first. So a sim is certain their destiny is to become a world famous chef. There's just one little problem. The sim is way more likely than most people to accidentally start fires while cooking. So it's not merely a lack of skill, it's just some freakish bad luck. Can the Sims survive the dangerous journey to culinary excellence or will they decide that playing with fire isn't for them and making fancy drinks seems like a safer, safer route to success? Feels a little bit like an inversion of my new year new hustle scenario where I actually tried to do it by being a mixologist at first. Um, I thought it was quite a unique way to earn a lot of money by mixing drinks. I thought it was, you know, a little bit more quirky than, oh, let's do paintings again, you know? So, uh, but then she became a singer songwriter and if you're watching my channel, you know how that's working out for it it became a whole thing um so yeah but um yeah i thought it's pretty cool to have them become a celebrity chef despite the danger so yeah i will jump into game and kind of uh oh actually do you know what let's just let's just play with a new household i'll just show you what i've got going on here there's a lot of stuff happening uh add a new scenario save no don't load game what's happening what am i doing play with a new household play with the existing household play with a new household Add a new save, it's fine. We're just gonna do it. We're doing it for the hustle, we're doing it for the clout, we're doing it for the vine. So um, if you go uh, to my gallery, you should actually see uh, this sim here, uh, Unlucky Chef. So Daisy Noru may be a little clumsy in the kitchen, but she has what you might call a secret ingredient up her sleeve. Other professional chefs might not be able to stand the heat, but Noru's little trick is to help the, uh, <laughs> Noru, is I kind of was naming her after the restaurant Nobu. Um, so that's why, a little bit like Nobu and a little bit like Nora. If you know the uh, TV show Upload, something about her face reminds me of the character Nora so she became Noru <laughs> but she's called Daisy Daisy Noru but Noru's little trick to help her with the aftermath of a fire may turn into quite the little side hustle I can't spell hustle leave me alone just remember to keep her insurance up to date so uh, we can jump in with Noru and you'll kind of see uh, see the special thing about her so replace yep so some of you eagle-eyed people will be able to see what's special about her already. Uh, but these are her outfits. She's quite down to earth. She's a little bit tomboyish. She's very, very cute. Uh, yeah, like look, she's so pretty. And you know what I'm like as well. I always like customize the makeup and things like this. Uh, so yeah, I've gone into detail on her like I normally would. Uh, super duper cute, like so cute. Shout out Micah for, suge for, for suggesting that hair for her because it's so cute on a little sleepwear outfit. That's kind of a party outfit I really really like that one um, and swimwear and summer wear and cold weather so that's her whole look so let's jump in with uh, I want to keep calling a Noru uh, with Daisy I may refer to her by her last name out of habit um, yeah let's jump into the game and I'll show you the little house that I've bought for her as well um, yeah and we'll kind of we'll see how she gets on we'll make it summer because why not Make it summer in the city, but we're not going to the city. We're going to Windenburg. Come to Windenburg, dance in Windenburg. Why doesn't she have any bloody money? I'm sorry, guys. Apparently, I started with no money. We may have to. Right, okay. Oh, okay. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Wait. <laughs> 
Uh, where did I want it to live? Uh, free real estate is what I want to go for. Free real estate. I'm sorry that I made her have no money. It was an accident, okay? <laughs> it was an accident. So let's go here because this is actually the lot that she should have. We'll bulldoze the lot and jump in. And I'm probably going to have to cheat to give her money so that I can actually place the lot that I built for her as well <laughs> because I'm an idiot. I'm sorry that I up uploaded her with no money. I'm sorry, guys. I'm an actual idiot. Okay. But it's easy enough to fix, right? We just go uh, money, 20,000 simoleons. There we go. Play. And she should have that. No. Testing. Cheats. Oh my goodness. Everything's going horribly wrong. Uh, testing. Nope. Cheats. On. And then money, 20,000. There we go. Okay. Now we can place a house, which is just in time because the weather is atrocious. Can relate. Is this world based on Britain. It might well be. So the simple cottage tucked away in the corner of Windenburg is the perfect hideaway for an aspiring chef. Uh, the small but cute kitchen just screams cook cake chic and if there are any fires you're right next to the canal. Convenient! So yeah it is designed for Havisham House. I just called it Havisham House because that's the lot I've built it on. Um, I think you can actually also make it a tiny home residential or just a normal residential. It's up to you but you get the perks if you make it a tiny home. So yeah totally up to you but there we go right let's jump in <laughs> she would have had enough money for this house <laughs> right okay so what happens is when you actually have to get her in the career as well that always helps <laughs> she's running around outside like you could have gone inside i didn't say that you had to ring up outside you know mila munch we should probably make friends with her <coughs> being another foodie okay so let's get her in the culinary career i'm starting to choke i'm sorry you should just go inside it's fine go inside i'm gonna drink some water you're gonna admire my little house oh and i posted about this on twitter as well but i really like this little shelf which is like a base game shelf and i really really like that they're giving us more stuff with a small footprint so this <coughs> excuse me this tiny little plank came with like the new kit um and this little light as well came with uh, my wedding stories and they ha they fit on this like, you know, like the, the smallest little footprints, uh, the, the smallest slots um, on shelves. So I really, really like those small footprints. More of that, please. Same steam. I'm choking. It's not good. Uh, so let's get back into the game and I'll just kind of show you what happens when you, when you try and cook. Um, if you're playing this scenario, you are kind of cursed and it doesn't matter how high you get that cooking skill, you could have like cooking skill level 10 and your sim is still gonna unfortunately be clumsy and start fires. I did also make her clumsy as a trait because I felt like that explained why she kept on starting fires. Um, so here we go, there's a fire started. Abandon, abandon food, there is no fire alarm as well currently in our house just as again as a little bit of an extra challenge okay she's on fire <laughs> oh dear let's run over to the shower to put her out so kind of showing you what you can do as a few tips here so if you probably do want to set put a fire alarm down and that's going to automatically call like the fire brigade you can put the sprinkler system down that's automatically going to put out the fires but i've got a little bit of a hustle here so let me just actually set her money to zero and show you what I'm talking about. So uh, she can come and put this fire out, extinguish. Come on, Daisy, get in there, put the fire out. It's gonna be fine. Hopefully you don't die. You're a little bit burnt. You're a little bit crispy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> What's going on here, singe. Covered head to toe in soot. Better wash this stuff off. Okay, so there we go. So she's, in, she's received, which is very nice of them. She's received 368 simoleons as an insurance pay insurance payment to cover the cost of the loss and the damage that she um, experienced during the fire but she, like i say she's got a little bit of something up her sleeve and what she can do is actually do magic and repario it's the only magic trick she learned and i genuinely went and learned it via gameplay and it was the first one that she learned and i was like yes that is exactly what i need thank you so for free because she is a spellcaster she can just repair the damage it's easy she doesn't have to pay to replace it she can keep that insurance money she can repair the damage herself 
it's fine. It's absolutely fine. So Daisy is now improving her spellcaster stuff as well. Oh no, she started a fire. That's because that's because she's quite a low level. She just started more fires. Again, she's clumsy, so that's probably why. <laughs> put it out. Put the day. Put it out, Daisy. But it's fine because she's probably going to get more money again now. She's probably going to get more insurance money. <laughs> So she will gradually start to improve. Again, we got more insurance money. It's such a little, like, such a little sneaky hustle, right? Uh, so magic, Repario. Hopefully she won't set a fire this time. But like I say, as she improves her magic level, she will start to... Uh, hopefully be less clumsy <laughs> you can there's things that you can do as well if you look on the talent points there's definitely things that you can do to uh let me just find the one that i'm thinking of um where is it is it this one there you go practical spells and potions always succeed when a sim is in a normal spellcaster charge range failure is greatly reduced in the charge and overcharge states so um when you start to get talent points that's definitely the one that you want to go for to prevent those fires from happening when you're trying to fix the damage from the fires um but yeah so it's it's a little bit cheaty it's a little bit of a hack but it's also kind of balanced actually you do have to kind of like work your way up there she's not like a level 10 spellcaster or anything of course if you want to play with a level 10 spellcaster with all the kind of perks and stuff you can absolutely do that not judging you but for those of you who want a nice balance between challenge and playing the scenario a different way this is uh, i thought quite a fun way to do it Oh my goodness, she needs to reduce her charge before she gets cursed as well. Can I reduce her charge? I cannot. So we may get cursed, which is another kind of uh, a thing to kind of wait it out and not make it too cheaty. So we're making quite a lot of money, which is nice. I should have done this as the, like, the new year, new hustle, I think. Um, but yeah, another thing you can do, another kind of top tip. Oh my goodness, she's crackling. She's definitely going to get cursed. Another thing that you can do is uh, just avoid anything that uses the oven. You could actually delete the oven and just make cold things, like just make salads, right? Just make fruit salads just make salads use things that don't use the grill okay so you can't set fire to a salad I don't think unless you can <laughs> probably, it's probably something I've done myself if you go and check that that hashtag so uh, yeah so if you are cautious and you're trying to avoid fires just make a salad <laughs> But yeah, you can definitely, if you're playing with Daisy, um, this is quite a nice way of, of dealing with the fire in a slightly different way and also having that perk of getting a little bit of money. So you do have to watch her spellcaster charge. You don't want to overcharge. You don't want her to die. You don't want her to get cursed. But uh, yeah, I, I just thought it was like quite a cute fun little way of kind of mixing things up a little bit there. So uh, that's what I'm doing. That's, that's my plan. That's how I'm going to play through this challenge. Do let me know if you're playing with Daisy, what you think of her. Love to hear the feedback. And uh, yeah, check out the lot and things on the gallery. I'm sorry I didn't give her any money. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, that's where I am at. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a like if you like. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to hit that subscribe button, it's absolutely free to do and it really helps out the channel. So thank you. you. Thank you to those of you who are subscribed. I really appreciate the support. And uh, that's it. I'm going to go. I'm going to see you again soon. And uh, happy scenarioing, friends. Bye.